Subi. <laughs> Today we are driving the 2008 STI hatchback and I did tweak around with this thing, I tuned it, I upgraded it myself a little bit to get it within the class restrictions and everything and man what a torquey motor, 343 torque, only 312 horsepower so let's test this thing out and see how it performs. I'm very excited to drive this thing and I love Subarus, I actually personally own a Subaru right now and it's a 2005 sedan but I absolutely love it. It's not an STI, it's just a daily driver. But I love Subarus, I mean, I love my car, and let's see how this thing is in-game, and, well, certainly launch is really good. The acceleration feels pretty good, and I like the sounds of this car, too. It sounds pretty good. So far, I am certainly happy with how this car feels. The acceleration feels very good. That's probably one of the most important things. Top speed, I feel like, is just kind of irrelevant here in motorsport because everything we, we, that we do here is all circuit racing, so there's generally not too many super long straightaways where top speed is going to matter. Now, there will be some times once in a while for sure. But so far, for the most part, Top speed has really not mattered. <laughs> but this car handles pretty good, the braking's good. And I like the way it sounds, it does sound nice. Most of the cars in this game do sound pretty good, which is really nice, because I love car sounds, just listening to cars. I think that is a pretty important part of the game, just to really, you know, have some realistic sounding cars and to give those really true passionate car fans what they're looking for, because if the cars don't actually sound like what they should, people are kind of going to be like, what the hell am I listening to? But they got the sounds pretty good in this game, I'm very happy with the sounds. I'm very happy with this car, this thing actually drives way better than I thought it would. Really good handling. Braking is good enough, and it's fast though, that's the main thing, it is fast. And it corners really well, considering how fast it feels. For a B-class car, this is, I like it a lot. Oh no, I lost vibration in my controller. I really hope my controller doesn't die in the middle of this race. It might also mess up my driving because the vibration in your controller, that actually really helps me to get a feel for like if I have grip and, you know, just it really helps me get a feel for my driving. I actually love using vibration in Forza. So basically, we just gotta try and get done this race <laughs> before my controller dies. I'll probably be like really close to the finish line, then it will die right before we get to the final straightaway. That would be awful. So I'm gonna really focus in here. I might not talk because of how focused I'm gonna be trying to make sure I don't mess anything up here. That I get this race done as quickly as possible. All I have left to overtake is this Honda S2000. I 
I gotta say, these Drivatars, they're pretty good at boxing out. It's one thing I need to work on, because I'm not good at that. I don't know if it's I'm not good at that, or I just try so hard not to make contact with their cars, so I just, like, don't want to box people out. This S2K is pretty quick. He's pulling on me a little bit. Got him there. He didn't trust his car around that turn. I trust my Subi. Now can we make it to the finish? Can we do it? Oh boy, we're close. Come on, controller. Stay with me. <laughs> oh, I love this Subi. Let's go, baby, first. I love it a lot. If you want to see me share this tune, let me know, because I actually think this is a pretty good little B-Class 520 car for the Sport Compact Division, I guess. So strict with these things, with the new system, but hey, it's good. The cars are definitely competitive. I mean, all the cars pretty much were together there, so. We're going to show you this car in the Forza Vista yet. I did customize it a little bit since my controller did not die yet, so we will be back in a second. So here is my little Subi, my blue hatch, and I like this car a lot, I mean, I think it's a beautiful car, beautiful hatchback. I'm usually not a huge hatchback person, like, I don't like the look of hatchbacks all too much, but this is one I do like. There are, you know, there's kind of a few that I like. I mean, generally, though, I just never have liked them as much as kind of sedans. Sedans is my preference, and that's why I own a sedan in real life, but, I mean, I kept the stock wheels, I used the stock blue paint, I tinted it. I lowered it, I mean, I think it looks really good, and, you know, I know Subarus really well, so the motor looks almost as, the exact same as mine, even though I have a 2005, and the interior, they did change a lot compared to the 2005 model year. Eventually, I do want to make a video showing everyone my car from real life, so if you would like to see that, if you make it to this point in the video, let me know for sure, but let's see how this thing sounds here in the Forza Vista. Gotta love it. Gotta love how these things sound. Absolutely love it. But this is a beautiful car. I think my tune is actually very good for the B-Class. It's probably the first time that I've felt like I've actually made a car that feels very quick in its restricted class and everything like that. So I'm very happy with this thing. Beautiful car. Sounds amazing. And I was very happy with the performance, like I said, too. So this is definitely a car I recommend getting if you do not have it yet. And even if you don't really tune it or do anything by yourself, I think it'll still be a pretty good car. So let me know what you think of this 08 STI hatchback. And like I said, go get this thing. It's a very good car in this game. But as always, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.